<laughs> I'm going to babysit you. I'm a good babysitter. <laughs> yeah. No? Maybe you should babysit. I used to babysit when, when I was a teenager. It's how you make extra money. Mom said you never did any work because you were so rich. Well, I didn't know what I wanted to become. And how? My, my husband, he swept me off my feet. Blue Moon was the song that was playing. You know the song, Blue Moon. Yeah, but I, I always wanted to do something with my life. You know, I had energy. I didn't just shop and lunch and go to matinees. You know, I ran charities for poor people. Ran, you know, raised some money for museums and schools. You know, with wealth comes responsibilities. I wasn't just some mindless consumer like so many of my so-called friends. Though I won't say I dislike buying pretty clothes. Tip big, boys. Tip big because you get good service and they count on tips. You know, someday when you come into great wealth, you must remember to be generous. Mom said you used to be okay, but you got crazy. Yeah, and then you talk to yourself. Well, there's only so many traumas a person can withstand till they take to the streets and start screaming. That's right, boys. They picked me up on the street talking to myself and gave me something called Edison's Medicine. Why Edison? Because they use electricity to get your thinking straight. See, everything unraveled so quickly. You know, I started experiencing anxiety and claustrophobia and this acute fear of death. You know, I had uh, nightmares and a nervous breakdown. I mean, you, you must have heard of Prozac and lithium. Well, all those drugs just made me worse. Of course, you know, I probably did suspect that not everything Hal did was always 100% above board. Christ, I mean, you'd have to be an idiot not to think his phenomenal success was too good to be true. But a cheat is a cheat. And when he had other women, I just flipped out, you know, and one thing led to another, and... But that's all history, boys. I met someone. I'm a new person. Did we get everything?